wanted to show you guys <clears throat> how to uh, convert um, a cheap uh, USB to RS-232 converter uh, typically used to send information or used for debugging on uh, development boards um, how to turn that into a programmer um, this uh, this particular board uses the PL2303 uh, uh, US, uh, USB 232 converter chip and uh, you'll notice the only thing missing on these things is uh, starting at the top you've got 3.3 volt uh, 5 volt then you got uh, your TX and RX and a ground and the only thing missing is a reset uh, there's two ways you can go about programming an Arduino with these. Um, the aggravating hard way is to click the upload button in the Arduino IDE and uh, manually reset the board. But this can take many attempts uh, to get the timing right. Um, with this little modification to the board, this adds a reset line to the DTR pin on the uh, PL2303 chip. Um, these are covered in uh, some kind of shrink uh, shrink wrap to protect the board. So I snipped away um, some of that uh, protective covering to expose pin 2, which may be a, hard, a little bit hard to see in this light. Uh, but I've soldered a uh, a 0.1 microfarad cap to pin 2 and then I put some hot melt over that to secure that connection because with just a little bit of wiggling it will it will come off so then you now have a, on the other leg of the uh, cap this will go to your reset pin on your Arduino so uh, it's a lot less expensive than something like this uh, FTDI programmer from Virtuobotics. And I've got a Virtuobotics uh, Versalino. So we'll connect this up um, in a second and see if it programs. Um, but you can get these for about three bucks versus, you know, twelve to fifteen dollars for a programmer. And uh, the details and schematic are on our blog at tsnresearch.com uh, but here's the schematic uh, showing the pin 2 just look for the dot on the chip second pin uh, you'll need one point one microfarad cap and uh, that's it and then there's the schematic cap goes to pin 2 the other side goes to the uh, positive side of the reset switch, the pull-up resistor side. So let's uh, hook this up to the Versalino and open a blink sketch in Arduino and see if it'll upload. Okay, so the converter's plugged into a USB port on COM4. Um, between the converter and the Versalino VDD goes to uh, 5 volt, ground goes to ground, RX goes to TX, TX goes to RX, and our reset modification goes to the reset pin. Uh, so uh, I've got the blink sketch up and I've got it set to pin 7 on the Versalina. I've got my board set to an Arduino Uno and we're just using the uh, AVR dude uh, ISP so as long as you got the correct COM port selected for the uh, converter board and got your correct board type all you have to do is click upload and now we've got a reset line on a $2 converter. 
and as you can see it did flash it verified it no errors and we are blinking so there you go um, there's a lot of other Arduino projects uh, big and small for beginners to the advanced um, just go to tsnresearch.com and click on the Arduino icon and I put a lot of my projects up there with libraries and documentation um, we're also working on a complete product line of uh, magnetometry uh, gadgets and sensors and applications um, the one that's almost finished now is the Fluxgate magnetometer for uh, geomagnetic storm monitoring uh, we also have a gradiometer um, with extreme uh, precision capability and we'll also be using the sensors to create a very sensitive uh, security system uh, that will detect magnetic anomalies so kind of a security system so all of this is going on uh, in collaboration with uh, speak sensors and fat quarter software uh, so if you want to learn more about those products, uh, check us out. Also, the uh, TSN digital magnetometers, which have a little bit less resolution, uh, those boards have arrived and are available upon request. Thanks for watching.